Tidler Pro 4 is the latest version of the Tidler Pro series, which lets you add professional quality 3D text animations inside your editing software of choice. My name is Sean Wilmon, and I have the pleasure of walking you through the key features of Tidler Pro 4. Tidler Pro 4 is easy to install in any major NLE. After downloading the installer, simply double click the file and Tidler Pro 4 will be available in most editing softwares, including Adobe Premiere, Apple Final Cut, Sony Vegas, and many more. From inside your editing software, you can either add a title as generated media or as an effect on existing media, depending on the program you're using. Since we're in Premiere, I'm going to go ahead and right click in my media bin and select New Item, New Blue Titler Pro 4. The first thing you'll see upon adding a title is the Quick Edit window. This is where you can make quick tweaks to all the titles in your project. For example, my client has just informed me that lions are actually herbivores, despite my protests, so we can quickly make that correction by selecting the corresponding title and updating its text. Of course, you will often need to change much more than that. Clicking on the Title Designer button opens the primary interface for Tidler Pro 4. You can even skip the Quick Edit window entirely by selecting Always Open to Title Designer in Settings. The first thing you'll want to do is change the text parameters. Things like font, size, alignment, and kerning are all available at the top of the window, but if you'd rather use a template, you can click the Styles button to show a list of styles in the library on the left. Simply mouse over a style to see it previewed on your text. To apply it, just double click or drag it over. Once applied, we can manipulate every aspect of the style, from gradient and texture to extrusion, drop shadow, and more. The new text fitting options also allow you to restrict text to a bounding box where it wraps and sizes itself automatically, and by using the new grid and guideline options, you can make sure your title is always perfectly aligned. You've probably noticed by now that the main window is more than just a preview. It is your dynamic workspace. You can manipulate objects in 2D space, but you can also use the globe handle to manipulate objects in the third dimension, which means you don't need to import 3D titles from outside software anymore. Once in position, you can double click to highlight all the text within an object, or you can make changes to individual characters using the blue border handles. Editing objects on the timeline is equally as intuitive. You can expand each object to see its components, click and drag to resize and reorder, or hide a layer. To add an animation, just drag or double click a transition from your library. You can even combine transitions and edit their individual parameters on the left. This creates millions of possibilities for easy, unique, and professional animations, and even a few unprofessional ones if you want. Adding effects utilizes the exact same process. Just drag and drop from the library, adjust the parameters, and combine effects for a perfect, unique look. You can save individual elements to your library, save entire project files that can be opened in a standalone editor, or export an entire package containing every element from fonts to textures. Finally, closing the title designer gives you the option of applying your work to an individual title or applying it to every title that uses that template, which is great for when you need to make a change to every title in a season in just a few clicks. No more late nights making 300 of the exact same change over and over again. Once completed, your title can be added to the timeline by simply dragging and dropping. It's just that easy.